Movie star? <gasps> Baby's talking, getting excited. Who oh, is that man? Sir, I know you're a famous movie star, but later can I get an interview with you? Yeah, sure can. Okay. Later, if you are you gonna go inside? Then I'll have an interview later with you. Sure am. Everybody's so, so exciting. Well, he's done drinking his beer. I guess he's leaving. <laughs> Rides off in the sunset. Please, can I have an interview with you? I hear you're a famous movie star. No, no I'm no movie star. I'm just a visiting here in South America. I'm just a good old Texas boy. Visiting here at a ranch. What ranch are you visiting? It's called the Delu Ranch. Good old boy. His name is Carlos Alberto Delu. But all the folks around here call him Delu. He's, he's Mrs. Her name is is Lori. He's got a little little boy named Kevin. What's the horse you're riding? She looks. Oh, this horse. There's a little story behind her. She's a pretty famous horse. Delu and I were heard that I knew how to barbecue chickens, like they're doing in Texas. I don't know what that is, but it tastes like burnt dog shit. This horse here, Delu uh, told his employees one day about two weeks ago that I knew how to barbecue chickens like they do in Texas. So he told his hands that we'd go get some chickens and uh, we'd barbecue them like I do in Texas. So we got in the car and went to the local bar, which is a store too, and they didn't have any chickens. It was Sunday and the bartender says, go down to the farm near here and uh, there's a man that sells chickens. So we got in the car and drove down there and, and uh, Carlos, or Delu they call him, him and that man were chasing these chickens for about a half hour. They finally caught two. And while they were catching chickens, they caught a duck, too. So we put the chickens in a bag, and we're getting ready to leave, and the man says, uh, or Delu says, uh, you got a horse for sale? The man says, yeah, I got a good horse. So they went down the pasture and chased these horses around and came back. And this man was leading this horse around and Delu was standing there and, and he kept leading the horse around and around and 
And he's never, he always kept leading the horse so Delu couldn't see it, it was one side of the horse. And, well, Delu says that's a good horse, he rode it. He says that'd be a good horse, got good bloodline. So, Delu and the man were talking about Christ. I don't know, they talk in Portuguese, I don't know what they say, I mean, they just keep haggling. I asked Delu later, I said, how much did that man want for the horse? Delu says, he wanted uh, $60. And Delu says, I was trying to get him down to 50. They haggled on the price for about 30, 40 minutes, and finally they shook hands. Well, I asked Delu on the way back, and we bought a horse, two chickens, and a duck. And I says, on the way back, uh, that was a pretty good buy, wasn't it? Well, when Delu went back to the ranch, he didn't have his calculator with him. They are here in Brazil. They changed the money about a month ago, and they had all these big bills like this. Well, that man didn't know that they had changed the money, and he was talking in terms of the old money, the cruzeros. And Delu, he was thinking about the dollars that they got now. Well, anyway, we go back to the ranch, and Delu, he's sharp. We go back to the ranch, he gets out his calculator. Oh my God, he said, I gave that man $80 for that horse, and I thought it was just 60 <laughs> Well, that just kind of shows you that these people around here know what's going on. Delu gets a little bit anxious when it comes to horses, but we haven't got the papers on her yet, but I think she's a champion. Oh, and, and let me tell you about the chickens. Oh, yeah, what happened yeah. to the chickens, sir? Yeah. Oh, tastes like dog shit. <laughs> well, the chickens, I took them back, and I was going to barbecue them Texas style, put a lot of salt on, no seasoned salt, just salt. Put them on the, on the charcoal grill, checked in two hours, whew, tough. Checked in three hours, whew, tough. About four and a half hours later, chickens looked like done. I took them out. All the employees, all the hands standing around, they were hungry. We were going to have the regular meal of beans and rice and, and chickens. Anyway, started cutting those chickens. And they were like goat fajita, goat uh, jerky. So tough. Threw them on the table. Nobody could eat them. Threw them out on the street, on the road, dogs wouldn't eat them. Well, anyway, the hands were getting mighty, mighty m mad because they told their wives they were going to have a big cookout. But we had plenty of beans and rice, and they weren't too mad. What happened to the duck? Oh, the duck. Uh, Deleuze misses. <laughs> she saw the duck. She says, you aren't killing that nice duck. Well, what do we do? We turned the duck loose in the pasture. Next morning, a bunch of feathers out there. I guess the dogs must have ate the duck. While I was here, every, uh, Delu's misses and Delu wanted me to make this, make that, make this, make that. I start making something, make this, make that, make this. Well, I... Delu, he went to town and bought a lot of good mahogany. Paid, paid, paid good price. A lot of mahogany. Man brought it out, put it in the shed. Well, while we were, uh, while Delu was gone, he went to the USA. While he was gone, the hired man, his foreman, was looking for some wood to make a cattle feeder. And he saw all that good wood there, and he took that wood, and he just sawed it all up. $200 worth of mahogany he sawed up for a cattle. Oh. Cattle, uh, feeder. But I'll tell you what, it's the best cattle feeder in Brazil. So I'm having a good time. We're going back to the good old USA. I'll begin to speak English a little better. I know a little Portuguese. Not very much, just enough to get me in trouble. Bom dia, como vai? Tudo bom. And as they say in Texas, when you go, 
when you leave, you always say, you all come back, you hear. In, in Brazil, they say, <laughs> Brazil, they say, até logo, ciao. Oh, Dolly. Well, that was the interview with the famous movie star. We never did get his name, but I'm sure you all know who he is.